What's good, Hurts fam? Hurts Credits having in. Look, Hurts fam, today I got a quick, very special video for you guys today. I know it's Saturday. Y'all gonna have a good time. Y'all gonna turn up, whatever it is. But look, y'all, I still gotta, I still gotta drop the sauce every day, okay, you guys? So look, y'all, today's video, I wanted to drop some personal experience because I always want to keep you guys updated with recent data points. That way you guys avoid mistakes in the credit game when you're trying to stack your credit cards on the business side or personal side, right? So... A lot of you guys know that on this channel, I always promote Eline Financial credit cards. The reason why I promote Eline Financial credit cards is because they got the best offers in the game. Eline Financial is a big institution that backs up a lot of credit unions and banks. They back up institutions like Ameris Bank, South State Bank, Connexus Credit Union, First National Bank of South Miami. But yeah, like I was saying, Eline Financial has the best offers in the game. The reason why is because they got 0% interest uh, swipes on the personal side and business side for 18 months that's almost two years there's not many institutions in the game that are offering zero percent interest for 18 months not too long ago they were offering it for 24 months but you know they had to lower it down to 18 months so that's the point right elon financial is a very good you know institution that backs up a lot of credit unions and banks but the thing is recent data points when it came to elon financial me recently with a good friend we were stacking some business credit cards with Eline Financial, right? So we did the two computer method, meaning that I had uh, his computer right next to mine. And then we were using my credit profile. He had two tabs with my information pre-filled on two different uh, Eline Financial credit cards. And then myself as well. I had two Eline Financial tabs with um, uh, two credit cards, right? Backed up by Eline Financial. So we clicked submit, submit at the same time. And he did on, my, on, on his computer as well. You know with my information like i said so four applications yeah they're going to be four different horror pools but the thing is they're not going to be seen at the same time if you understand what i'm saying i know they're hitting the same table eline financial right even though they're four different uh banks and credit units they're start, they're all hitting the same table because they're backed up by eline financial but the thing is though they're all registered at the same time so it doesn't matter okay and also too uh what else was I going to say? Yeah, so we click submit, submit on my computer, submit, submit. But the thing was, I didn't get automatic approvals, which I was confused about because, you know, I had all the right requirements. I had a good credit profile. I was waiting in the garden stage, no recent accounts, no recent entries. I was good. OK, so I was confused why I didn't get automatic approvals. So I waited for, you know, the the paper in the mail, basically explaining why I got denied. And the reason that for denial was I didn't have all my three bureaus unlocked which is confusing like elon financial is known for pulling your transunion credit report there's certain institutions that they back up that will pull your equifax credit report for example south state bank they will pull your equifax even though they're backed up by elon financial but most institutions backed up by elon financial pull your transunion credit report and i always tell you guys before you stack some business credit cards or personal credit cards freeze the bureaus you're not going to use okay the reason why i say that is because you don't want no additional hard pools reporting on those bureaus like there's certain institutions for example recent data points with amex amex is known for pulling your experience credit report but i had somebody that was applying for amex for the first time right amex pulled their experience and their transunion you want to avoid that you don't want these institutions pulling a extra inquiry on another bureau because that fucks up your whole credit stacking method. So I always tell you guys to be on the safe side, freeze the bureaus you're not going to use. OK, that's very important. Right. And also, too, um, if you don't do that, institution might pull a bureau you weren't aware of. Like, let's say, for example, Discover, right? They are known for pulling experience in a certain area, but in your area, they pull Equifax. Now you have an inquiry on Equifax and you thought they were going to pull your experience. It fucks up your whole credit stacking method. OK, you guys. So, yeah, that's the thing. So the paper said I had to have all my bureaus unfrozen, which is confusing, man. Like like I said, they are known for pulling your transunion credit report. So that's why I got denied for all four applications. OK, I was denied because I had to have all three of my bureaus unfrozen, which is kind of like. To me, it's a red flag. Like you trying to report a hard inquiry on all three of my reports or like, why exactly do you want to see all my reports? Is it going to be a soft pull on the other reports or am I going to get a hard pull as well on them, which is going to fuck up my whole credit stack and method? It raises a red flag. So 
I don't know, man. I don't know. It's very confusing because I recently had one of my clients, you know, get approved for a Univis credit card. They're an institution that are backed up by Inline Financial. And he didn't have all three of his bureaus um, frozen. He had all of, the, all of the three unfrozen because I forgot to tell him to, you know, unfreeze them. But uh, no, no, no. I forgot to tell him to freeze them, right? And he had them all three unfrozen. But Inline Financial only pulled his TransUnion credit report. So it's kind of confusing to me. Why do they want to see all three of my bureaus? You get what I'm saying? So there's a little, you know, recent data points that I want to share with you guys. Be careful when it comes to Elon Financial swipes. Um, you know, if you want to guarantee an approval with Elon Financial, what I want you guys to do, try this, okay? Because Elon Financial is known for pulling your TransUnion, your Equifax only. So just freeze your experience. I don't want y'all to, you know, possibly, you know, um, get an inquiry with experience and it fucks up your whole credit stack and method with experience. So only freeze TransUnion. And um and Equifax and see if they give you guys an approval. I want I want um I want to see the results on that. So just let me know in the comment sections how that went. And if they denied you, tell me what they said in your paper mail. Just Instagram DM me, okay? I just want to know, okay? That way I know for a fact it wasn't something specific. So yeah, you guys. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I just wanted to keep y'all aware of this, man. Y'all have a good day. The hood rich way. Uh.